Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be covering a new attack strategy that I just crossed in the game. All right, so today we're going to be showcasing a new attack strategy that I just learned, which is called the Yeti Lalo. Yes, what is that? Well, let's take a look. We've got three healers, four Yetis. We've got a Grand Warden that's going to be used as a Grand Warden walk initially. Look at that. Quad Quakes right there. I do have a poison. So the initial attack that I saw, which was Teske, who invited me over to this clan here. And he was like, Carbon, I got this attack here that I did. And he's like, I did it with a Yeti Lalo. And I'm like, wait a second. What? Well, I've never I've never seen an attack like this. Combining Yetis, combining uh, Lalo together in this attack. Maybe you guys have seen it, but I personally haven't. And I'll bring up his attack here, but I do want to showcase his attack is actually going to be in a contest, right? So he kind of is creating this contest that all of you guys that can uh, play in and can help submit videos. So let me go ahead and bring up this contest. He also has a website where he sells jerseys, which I personally got one right here, which I'll showcase. Let me go ahead and bring that up right here. So, okay. So here is his website the where you can create a jersey, right? So this is like the WHF jersey, which you can actually buy right now. Let me go ahead and bring this up full screen here. So you see, it's a really nice jersey. This is the WHF jersey that uh, the WHF guys, which are now part of Tribe Gaming, wore when they were playing the ESL Mobile Open in New York, right? So you can fully customize it. You can put things on the shoulders. You can put whatever logos you want on the front and back. You can put your name on the front. You can put your name on the back. You can put it wherever you want, right? It's fully customizable. And here's his website, which you can go and see all the different... Oh, let me go ahead and bring up the website because you can't see it. There it is. Here's his website. Now you guys should be able to see it. Where you can design your web or your jersey. So definitely check out the link in the video description. You can use code CARBONFIN to get discount right there. I believe right now it's 15% off. You'll have to check. I'll, li I'll definitely leave all the information down in the video description. But here's the contest, right? So Eric is uh, part of the judges here. So he's one of the judges that are going to judge videos when you submit them, right? So you submit your clan tag, your in-game name, your email for what game. So Clash of Clans. And then you're, if you have a YouTube channel, maybe you have a Twitch channel, maybe you have a website. If you would like to promote with that uh, video submission. And then it's like a contest that whoever has the most unique attack, the best attack, whatnot, is going to win a potential prize, which is going to be an Oddities t-shirt, which is, this is the website that's going to be through, and a $50 gift card to PlaymakersWan.com, which is this jersey website that you can use. So definitely go check this out. You guys can potentially win a jersey. Uh, you guys can win the gift card. You can win a t-shirt, things like this. And this contest is going on right now. It's going to be running for quite a while. So there's going to be many different winners. So definitely go check it out. I'll link the contest down in the video description. But you want to see an ocean. You see right here, I've got the Ocean Oasis t-shirt, right? But I'm going to have a Ocean Oasis jersey made. Do you want to see that? Well, take a look at this. This is going to be the jersey right here. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I think it's. I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm going to be getting this made from Playmakers. They made this from scratch right so they took the logo they put the shark on they have like their own designer there and it's really cool right that's and then there's gonna be a pink version of it as well right so you can see the two different versions for ocean oasis which i'm gonna get very well i'm gonna get the blue version but part of the, whoever in the client also can get the the pink version as well but they're really cool right i really love the jerseys but check out take a look at the contest right there that's gonna be going on for Playmakers Wanted. So with all that said, Teske, who is the owner who created that website of the jerseys, he he's the one that told me about this attack strategy that he did, right? So here is the attack strat right here. And let me go ahead and bring it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, do the replay here. And yeah, so look at look what he's got. He doesn't have the poison spell, right? So that's the big thing. I took the poison spell when I did testing after, after uh, watching his attack here. So let me go ahead bring this up so I can draw on top of it. And if you guys might wonder, how do I draw? Well, I use what's called epicpen.com. If you go download epicpen, you can draw over your desktop screen, which is which, what I do. So you can see the markings right here. So what does he do, right? So he uses the Grand Warden walk to start, right? So the Grand Warden walk, he's going to use on the top side over here. And he's going to use a quad quake, right? The quad quake is going to be right here. He's going to get his way into the town hall, right? So one of the key things when I did my testing was well what is the important thing i need to take down well 
the town hall, right? I, when I first tried it, I tried exactly what he did. No poison, two rages, and I was failing a lot. And I was getting like one star. I was like, what is going wrong? What is going wrong in my attack? How did his work? Well, because he got the town hall, right? If you find bases that are like ring bases with a town hall inside the core of the base, it's going to be really difficult to take down that base because you really need that kill squad per se, the warden, the yetis, the king, queen to charge in to help take that town hall down and take as many of the heroes down as possible. He takes the queen down, but he doesn't take out the royal champion, which is um, definitely very promising for attackies. If you think, oh, he took out royal champion, took out the queen, took out everything, and just lolled back in. Well, he lolled through two scatter shots, lolled through the eagle artillery. So look at this. He uses the ice golem, the royal champion, uh, the king, all through here, and then here comes the yetis. I'm going to showcase my FCs that I did after going through a lot of practice, and then he's going to send that queen straight in. And, I mean, he doesn't have a poison spell, so I was surprised he was able to make the charge all the way through. Yes, there's a Lava Hound. He's going to be able to get through it. The Queen usually gets stalled up, pops that Warden ability nice, and he takes down this Town Hall. So that's key. You really want this portion of the raid to take that Town Hall down. And so as you charge your way through this base here, you're going to get ready to use the Stone Slammer. You're going to have the Lava Hound, your Loons. And the problem is that I initially ran into this attack was I didn't have much at all cleanup right so you can see he's got a barb and a minion that's going to help clean up a lot of this stuff down here and so what i decided to do in my army composition is take like a wizard or two wizards at least to help with cleanup and but he has but the big thing what helped him work was his lava hound had all those pups that cleaned up right so if your lava hound pops on the outside of a base then there's your cleanup so he did he well i don't think he realized but those pups were clutch for the cleanup if the lava hound flies too far into the base it's going to die, right? And then the pups are going to get picked off and then you lose your cleanup. So in my case, I decided to take a wizard to help with my cleanup and my raids, which, I, which is what I'm going to show you. And then he was able to help. The queen got a lot of value. Here goes the balloons. And look at those. those the lava pups are cleaning up a lot. The dragon comes out. The grand warden follows those loons. And then he's able to get the three star here with that yeti Lalo. And this is when the attacks... Um, that he has put together. He let me know. He's like, Carvin, I got this attack. Have you ever heard of it? And I was like, no, I haven't. Okay, so let's go ahead and now showcase my attacks here. And I definitely did a lot of FCs, a lot of practice to figure out what works and why does it work? Well, let me go through those examples here. So in this space right here, right, the town hall is a little, is towards the bottom here. There's some large gaps. The CC is all the way down here. And I felt... That if I did a warden walk, you when you do a warden walk with three healers, you could only get hit by one point defense at a time, right? So like one archer tower, one cannon. You can't get hit by an archer tower and a cannon. It just won't work. Your warden will die. So what did I do here? So I decided to charge in from the opposite side of town hall. Granted, would this work every single time? Not really, right? It's going to be super risky. But I decided to use this yeti here to help tank one here and kind of clear some of the trash. And then here goes the raw champion, right? Her responsibility has to help take down this, so I end up investing in a free spell to help take that section down. Then here goes a minion, because there's the minion helped grab a bunch of this. And here's the, qu the quad quake, so I can get my way and charge all the way through. And you'll see this, the Grand Warden helped grab this. Ice Golem tanks. Here goes the King, the Yetis, and then the Queen. They're responsible for charging all the way in, right? And technically, if I charge all the way in here, the Queen can reach the Town Hall from behind that wall right there, which is also very important. So there's a freeze why did i freeze there because i wanted to protect that king because i wanted to allow the king to get a little bit further into the base take that down and then use his ability later and here comes the stone slammer on this side of the base so i can fly my way like this stone slammer gets locked down by that single target inferno i messed up the free spell i only dropped on the on the single i could have dropped it on the archer tower as well so here comes the stone slammer the balloons moving my way down south i just want to show you the strength of an attack when Let's say something doesn't go right. I'm pulling out the CC at the at the last possible, kind of towards the end of the raid. There's the poison help to clear it. Lava Hound uh, ends up flying across the bottom side. It's going to pop down here. But then I end up investing that raid spell to help these loons because they made their way straight to the town hall. And then it's going to be a matter of kind of just charging my way through. So this wasn't clean, right? By all, by all means, this was not a clean attack. But you can see how still it got the three star. So let me go ahead and put it on times four here. And the Queen and the Warden end up finishing this one off right here. So you, I definitely would love for you guys to test this out. Let me know how it, how it works out. So let's go ahead and jump into another attack. 
And I'm going to jump into quite a bit of different examples and break those down. All right, here's another attack. So what's the objective? Well, you got to get into this town hall and you got to drop the Grand Warden somewhere where he's not going to get picked off by a single target Inferno. And two, he's not going to get hit by multiple single point defenses. And so how do I get my way into the town hall? Well, let's see. We got a sweeper that's pointing over here. They're kind of pointing there next to the town hall. CC's over here. All right, so if I drop Quad Quake which is going to be pretty much on the out towards the outside of the base, which is going to connect to get you in, which looks like if I drop the Grand Warden down here, right? And then he walks this way. He grabs some of this stuff, but then there's the single target Inferno. Okay, I drop a quad quake. I can charge my way through, but what about that Eagle Artillery right there? Well, what if I connect my way to get that Eagle Artillery? So what if I drop a quad quake here and then I charge everything like that? Okay, so let me drop my Grand Warden here. And then get everything to go. No, you don't want to do that because of the single target Inferno and that ground expo, which is going to be on the Grand Warden and the cannon. You don't want to do that because there's going to be two point defenses on him. Well, I can drop the Grand Warden over here, right? And so there won't be two point defenses over here. Wait a second. There's the archer and the cannon. You said don't do it where two point defenses is, right? You can see the Grand Warden's health going down. But what do I do? I drop two loons. I'll take this down. So the Grand Warden won't go down from the two point defenses. So now he's going to get healed back up very important right so you can do that but you gotta drop some balloons you gotta drop something to take that point defense down so that the warden doesn't lose health here then here comes the yeti down here but he's gonna clear this building like that and then his yeti mites will clear this cannon so pretty much the yeti helps set the funnel right so you can if you can self set a funnel with maybe a king and then bring him around that can work as well but i i invested a yeti which ended up clearing this so now, if this Grand Warden steps up, I saw a Tesla popped, and a lot of these bases I hit fresh. Like, I didn't try two, three, four times. Um, a lot of them I actually ended up hitting fresh. I think this one, I'm not, I think I might have actually hit twice, I think. This is kind of when I was first learning of what was going to work. So I'm taking quite a bit of time here, and then I'm going to charge my way straight into, well, I'm going to get an Eagle, I'm going to get a Scattershot, I'm going to get a Royal Champion, I'm going to get the Town Hall. I can then reach the back end Scatter. There's a ton of value that I can reach, right? So here's the ice golem, the king, the queen, the yetis. They're going to charge their way in. And watch out. These healers are getting hit by this air defense right here. So let's see the charge. So in we go. Pop that king ability. All right. So we're going to pull out this clan castle, which has got a baby dragon ice golem witch. I go ahead and invest that poison spell right there. And then I still have that war internal tome. That ice golem was clutched. To look at that. Froze like all that. Got a tremendous value. And then this royal champion comes in when this single target inferno is pretty much like being distracted right here now the queen she can reach this town hall and then what's left well we got an air defense air defense and then we lalo this way through the back side of this base right so your kind of your kill squad has to get the town hall i've tried examples where the town hall is in the middle of the base like let's say a ring base or something and it's very difficult right and it doesn't work as well because you need that quad quake to really open up the base to get so much value like this attack does, right? So practice it, practice it, practice it. it you're going to fail a lot, which is what I did, right? I'm not saying it's the strongest attack. Use it in every single one. It's going to break the... No, it's not. It's a, a strategy that you can add to your tool belt, right? That's something that a lot of times in, in Rage now where people put the town hall away... And you can't get the same zap value as you could before, right? So you definitely want to be able to do multiple different style of attacks. In this one, you deal with the CC, which is okay. You just got to make sure you charge your way in. At least you can reach that town hall, which can end up turning into a safe two. And a lot of the times when I failed, it was like high into the 90s at, as well. So there we go. So we got that. So let's jump, keep jumping into examples and breaking them down. All right. So here is another one. So let's go ahead and pause this. Oh, okay. So you see the Grand Warden I already dropped here. So you see I dropped the Grand Warden down here at towards 5, 6 o'clock. And so what's the plan on this? Well, I dropped the Grand Warden because he's going to be dealing with one point defense at a time, which is going to be the Archer Tower. Then he's going to step into the can, and then he's going to grab the Wizard Tower. All right, this is what I want down. Okay, so if I want this stuff down, where, where am I going to charge? Well, you see the Town Hall? I need to go for that Town Hall. So I need to get the Grand Warden and charge everything to this Town Hall, which means I can drop a Quad Quake right here, open this up right it's also going to damage this town hall okay it's not too big of a deal because that can help with my charge and then i need to set a funnel over here well one yeti pretty much can set a funnel over here right he can take this down and then the yeti mites will grab this archer tower okay so now you're starting to see and this put together we have a sweeper that's pointing this way a sweeper that's pointing this way so where's our lalo going to come well our lalo's 
pretty much going to come like this, right? Behind the sweepers. So the Yeti's going to come over here. I drop a minion because there's nothing else over there, so mine as well. While the Grand Warden's taking his time, keep the Yeti far enough away so the Yeti doesn't pull that Grand Warden. So he's going to clear all this and set that funnel. So let's go ahead and put it on times two here to kind of get through this beginning portion. So the Grand Warden's going to grab this. There's the Quad Quake, right? So it's going to open this whole area, and now I can charge my way in through here. You need that kill squad. You need the Warden, the Yetis, the King, Queen to get a tremendous amount of value. So here we go. In they go. They're going to charge their way in. And then what happens? The king gets locked down by the single target inferno. So I want to keep that king alive. Very important. So I use that free spell on the single and the expo to help do that. And then I send in the royal champion on the outside. While like all the infernal beams of the town hall is, is tanked, the royal champion can come in and not get hit by that town hall and do a lot of work. Then I pop this grand war internal tome. And I'm not necessarily popping it to protect them over the town hall, but just to protect them through all that damage. And, the ro and then the queen can help take that town hall down. And very nice, right? So now that they just gutted this core here, here comes the Lalo through the bottom side, right? So in, in I go. I'm moving my way around. Still haven't dropped the uh, Lava Hound. There we go. I, I end up using the Stone Slammer so because I think the Stone Slammer can uh, get some nice value, even though obviously the Lava Hound can pull the traps and all, but it would have been okay because I ended up killing off the Queen and the Royal Champion. So now here we go. The Lalo's moving through here, and then I can grab a ton of the space. The Royal Champion did a lot of work, and if you can... Like, use that Royal Champion near to clear a lot of defenses on the outside, let's say, near Town Hall, while the Town Hall is being tanked. That's a great opportunity to do it. So here we go. In around the Stone Slammer goes, and look at that. We got a ton of value. Yes, this wasn't like a, wasn't a maxed out base. It wasn't, didn't have everything all maxed, but you can see the potential. You can see how strong it actually is, and I'm actually really surprised on it. So let's keep jumping into more here. All right, so here is another one. So what is the plan on this? So I got the exact same army. So what is the objective that you really need to go after? Well, that town hall, right? So we're going to have to find a way to get this town hall down. Okay. So you're saying, Carbon, why would you do a quad quake anywhere near this town hall? Why don't you just like do a jump? You possibly could, right? I'm just trying to take this cookie cutter army and see if I can just apply it to every base that I'm hitting. Remember, this is FCs. This is not Legend League. So... Granted, just try it. Just practice, right? And then see what you can do. And also, let me know in the comments how the attacks, how they practice, how the FCs are going. Um, and maybe it's something that you're going to start using more and more. So, if we're going to drop the Grand Warden, where do we want to drop him? Do we drop him right here? Well, this Archer Tower and Cannon will be on him. And then, potentially, the Ground Expo will be on him. So that could probably be a no, don't drop him up there. Where would be a safe place to get him into the Town Hall? Which, you would have to either go this way, or you would have to either go this way into the Town Hall. Well, down here, there's not much point defenses. So down here would probably be a good spot where the Grand Warden can get some nice value here, right? Okay, so let's drop the Grand Warden down here. And so then he can make his way this way, right? All right, so then that means we have to drop a Quad Quake somewhere in here. All right, well, we can drop a Quad Quake probably be, uh, somewhere where we don't activate this Town Hall because we don't want to activate it too much while everything is charging this way through. Now we get access to this back side over here if we, if we want to charge our way through, right? So there's the Grand Warden. I end up pulling out the CC. Grand Warden can kill that baby dragon, no worries. So I just drop a minion as well to help assist him. And then I realized, wait a second. So while this Town Hall is being tanked on the King, the Queen, Yetis, things like that, I can drop my Royal Champion like the raid before on the outside perimeter over here to help grab this stuff, which I can help keep my kill squad push into the core here. So here's the King, here's the Ice Golem, there's the rest of the CC. I drop that poison. And this town hall is not being activated, right? Because I didn't damage it, so no worries. Moving my way in, and then once I realize the town hall is going to get activated, then the warden ability is going to pop, that's when I'm going to drop the royal champion, right? Because if we're taking a look, where's the rest of the... We have two scatters on the back side of the space, which can be a huge pain. There's the king ability I popped, and get ready for the grand war internal tome, and boom, I do it as they kind of would split off. Queen's going to help remove the town hall, and then I drop the royal champion, kind of as the town hall is going to go down, and as the infernal beams are being tanked. All right, so now my Royal Champion can move and grab a ton of value. And now here comes the Stone Slammer on the bottom side, where there's no air defense. And then it's going to clear all this. Now I'm going to drop the Hound down here, where it's going to start taking in these defenses and this. And now these loons are going to fly their way into this top side, into the Eagle, into the Scatter Shots, into all this. And look, the Queen is still up. And technically, this Stone Slammer is going to open up this area for the Queen to follow behind, right? So... 
I mean, it's not... I didn't plan for that at all, right? It just happened to be like, wait a second, that's right. Stone Slammer can open walls, and the Queen can help walk right into that alley. So then I keep using a freeze. I ended up missing this freeze right here on that scatter shot. But you can see how strong this is right here, right? The balloons move through. I still had... I dropped that haste, but the Stone Slammer is still moving in. That is very strong, and it's going to pop right there with that Queen ability still in tow. And bam, it's going to be another triple, right? And pop that Queen ability, Yetis, Barbs, and I have a lot of cleanup. The Wizards are actually really useful for cleanup. They come in handy a lot, so definitely look into using them. So we're going to just keep coming, jumping into more to bring you guys more examples. All right, so here's another one. Now, what are we going to do? Well, what I, where did I drop the Grand Warden? Well, you can you can already see here, right? Because what are we going to go for? The Town Hall, right? We really want that Town Hall down. So I'm going to walk this Grand Warden here. Is there one point defense on him? Yes, just the Archer Tower. Okay, well, there's a, there's a Mortar, which is not going to do too much. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're What are we going to do with the Single Target Inferno? Hmm. Well, I'm going to drop my Royal Champion to help clear that, right? I want my Royal Champion to grab this. And then where's the Quad Quake going to go? Well, look at this. Look at this value. I'm going to charge everything right down into this Town Hall. All right, let's go and do it. So here's the Grand Warden on the top side here. I pull a, I pull a Sam. I use a Yeti to help clear some trash and also to tank the uh, cannon right there. I'm going to go ahead and use that free spell onto the single target Inferno so that the Royal Champion can take it down. Double ground scale. He's do pop right here, but no worries. Going to take that down. So there it goes. Damages some of the defense behind, and she's going to clear a lot of the um, skellies there, but the quad quake took down the Grand Warden altar as well. And so now what do I do? I drop a wizard up top here. I'm like, wait a second. I need to get everything to charge my way straight into here because if the queen walks by this town hall, she can pick it off. And that's the plan. So here goes the yetis, the ice golem, another balloon. I'm like, wait a second. There's probably going to be a, like, a sinking air mine here. And then I freeze this single target inferno because it's on my king. I need to freeze it. So then I'm going to start the lala over here. This is a super risky like, play right here, right? So the king's ability is off. Stone Slammer's flying through. Yes, there's a dragon. There's a uh, loons. I do drop the poison. But even if it was a Lava Hound, she, the Queen would have been able to still to get through it. Um, she does get through the CC, so it is a little bit easier. I, I will give you that. Um, and then the uh, Lalo comes from the bottom center here, right? So it could have probably been a little better. Maybe if I qu quaked this initial wall, they would have uh, been a little bit close to this Town Hall. But you can see this Queen staying up in the core, moving all the way through. Do have two more freezes. The Rohab Champions down here. I li literally just said, I'm just going to Lalo and see what happens. So uh, the Queen is now going to, she's going to loop back in for this tunnel after she reaches over the wall and takes down that Royal Champion. And here comes the Lalo on the bottom side. So I pop that Queen ability so that nothing could, I make sure that Town Hall does go down. But that Stone Slammer, which I dropped from the top, is still going down and around. I end up investing the free spells to help clear that Tesla right there. So you can start to see these attacks start to come together with this Yeti Lalo and start to actually show you how strong it actually is. All right, so we got another one here. And what's going to be the plan on this? Well, remember that thing that you really have to go for? What is it? The Town Hall, right? And so we're going to charge our way in the Town Hall, which is all the way on the outside here. We have uh, two multi-target Infernos over here. We do have sweepers that are pointing th this direction here. Okay. So the CC is literally right near the Town Hall. So what we're going to do is drop the Grand Warden out of the range of the Clan Castle so he can start grabbing some of the storages. And then we're going to drop the King Queen and we're just going to full send right into the Town Hall. Right? And then we can drop the, the Earthquake, which how many tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we can open up all of these walls right here. So that's the plan. I'm going to drop the Earthquake to open all this and now it's going to give me access Literally, this multi-target Inferno, if they all go all the way through, get a ton of value that way, right? And so I also want to use a Yeti over here to help clear this trash. And then the Yeti Mites can grab the Mortar, which is going to help make sure it's going to keep everything nice and close into this Town Hall just like that, right? So the Grand Warden's down. And you don't, and to be honest, you don't want to drop a Balloon. Why? It's because it's going to pull that Clan Castle out. So you want to keep that Warden far away from pulling that CC while the Grand Warden can do it. And I don't want him to actually take the Town Hall down because he's going to take too much damage and then the healers are going to also get hit. So this is going to be the case where you don't use the Coco Loon and you don't use the Warden to take the Town Hall down because I'll have to invest the, r the Rage on it and just won't it won't work, right? So here goes the King, the Ice Golem. I do now drop a Balloon to test for Seeking Air Mines. 
There's the poison. It pulls the Sam, activates the Town Hall upon death. And what I should have done is I should have dropped the Quad Quake earlier, right? That's definitely the big thing. I, I dropped it a little bit late, but obviously it if you drop it earlier, it can activate the, the Eagle Artillery and all that. But I mean, the Heroes will as well because I'm dropping so many. So now I'm going to charge my way straight into here. There's the Rage to lead in. And I already popped the Grand War Internal Tone, but I'm going to wait to use this King ability here through this core. And then where am I going to drop the Royal Champ? Well, she can come up here and clear kind of this section with the multi-target Inferno. So now I'm going to be able to grab the enemy Royal... I grab the enemy Royal Champion, or I grab the, the enemy Queen, the enemy King, the enemy Royal Champion, all the heroes that threw that charge right into here. And then now my Royal Champion is going to help take care of that top section. And here comes the Lalo. You find a Tesla farm over here. I do still have that Stone Slammer. I haste freeze my way through here through this section the queen's still up and here comes the stone slammer on this side right and boom look at this look how strong it is i still have my three freezes so you're you're pretty much using your four or three freezes on the lalo portion with the two haste as well and it's so strong even with back in multi back in scatter shots as well and then i freeze the multi the scatter and the whiz tower like that haste my way through i got it i do have that freeze and i have that swag freeze so i could could have ended up using a freeze on the entry. Could have used a freeze on the raw champion. That's what makes this attack actually super strong. And then if you don't, if, if you do what like Teski did in the very first attack that I showed you, maybe don't even bring a poison spell. You don't need it. You can have that extra haste, extra freeze, or you take away a freeze, take away a poison, bring another rage or something like that. So just look at how strong this is. Still going. Still going to bring you guys more triples to help kind of really show you guys what this is. All right, so we're just continuing with these attacks here. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a lot of attacks, right? To really showcase different ways you can use it. So in this one, what I did on this is I used the king and the royal champion in a little different way. I didn't send the king in with the main charge, right? So I used the grand warden over here. Why? Because I need to take this town hall down. So then I was like, all right, and this, I hit this fresh with um, a lot of other bases I hit fresh. So I dropped the yeti here. So I'm like, this yeti can help grab this cannon and then these loons can help take this archer tower set the funnel then i'm going to send my king into the town hall but then i realized oh no there's a tesla farm all right there's a tesla farm we're all champion over here so i'm like okay what do i want to do i gotta think on the fly because if i if i drop my king in here they're going to be subject to running down this way okay so I don't, I don't want them to run down to the bottom side down there so i'm just going to drop my king i'm going to drop my ice comb raw champion and hopefully they can clear this whole section like that Right, so there's the king, there's the ice golem. Royal champion, once the royal, once the enemy royal champion's kind of tank distracted on the ice golem. And here goes the grand warden. He's still doing uh, his work on that side, setting the funnel. And there's the king's ability. Royal champion now is going to help now loop up over here. Still haven't yet pulled that clan castle. And here comes the yetis, right? Yetis, the queen. I'm going to drop that balloon to test for Signier Mines and the healers. But, uh-oh, look at this. The king is now locked on to my Grand Warden, and that's, that's, I can't have that. I don't want to pop the Grand Warden ability just yet, so I have to invest the free spell on that enemy king here, right? So you can see different ways that I'm taking this down. So I drop the poison spell, headhunters, they run out of the poison spell. So, uh-oh, what's going to happen? I, the queen takes them down, so there's the rage. Now the queen's going to be able to be responsible for the town hall, a single, the scatter, an eagle, all the way through here. Look at the value that this queen's going to get. And you can see... Now that the town hall is down, now now where do I lalo? Well, let's see. The sweeper is pointing over here. So here we go. We're lolloing this way around the base. Enemy queen is still up down here. My queen still has her ability. And here we go. There's the freeze on the single. The scatter shot. Pop the queen ability here. Gets the enemy queen. Gonna get the uh, air expo. Gonna get the eagle artillery. Look at the value that the queen can now reach. Because I set this funnel on this side. Charge my way straight through. And here's the lalo down and around, right? I froze that scatter shot, the froze the air expo, and now the balloons are moving around, just putting on a little times four speed so you guys can kind of see this here. And the minions are cleaning us up. I mean, obviously, it's, it wasn't wasn't the best executed plan here, but this was just a fresh attack. I just hit it for the first time, ended up working, and just using the spells on the fly, freezing that king, and it still worked. All right, so here we go again. What is the plan on this one? Well, let's take let's think about it. Remember, objective, what is it? go for that town hall okay so objective number one is to go for the town hall so i'm gonna use a quad quake up here right why don't i charge down here well because you need to go for the town hall okay so i'm gonna use a quad quake like this now what do i do how do i set my funnel to get everything to go for this town hall 
Okay. If I drop a Grand Warden here, he's going to get wrecked by the enemy king, right? So, instead of dropping my Grand Warden, I drop the Quad Quake first, right? So, the Quad Quake's down. Here's the king, right? I decide to drop the king. Then, I drop some healers. And then, there's a the Grand Warden. I drop a Yeti Wizard to help maybe set the funnel here. Hopefully, the Yeti Mites can kill off that Bomb Tower. And then, here goes the Ice Golem. I'm like, okay, I, the Ice Golem is going to... Because I wanted to send my Royal Champion here to help clear this, to force everything straight to the Town Hall. But then I realized this single target Inferno couldn't hit the Yetis. Couldn't hit the Ice Golem just yet because I needed to take that down, then move in, then I could drop my Royal Champion here. So then I dropped the Yeti over here to clear a little bit more of a funnel, and then the Yeti Mites can clear the Mortar, potentially grab the Archer Tower as well. So that's why I dropped it over there. There's the Balloon to test for Sam's. King gets locked down, but I'm going to drop now the Royal Champion over here. Here goes, I drop the Queen as well. I drop a Balloon to try to take down that Bomb Tower. And now they're going straight into the core of the space to the Town Hall. Here comes the Clan Castle. It's got a Yeti in there. I mean, I dropped the Poison. Even, either way, it still would have been able to like charge your way through. Um, Town Hall would have gone down, would have got some nice value. Lava Hound probably would have slowed it down. Um, but you can still see this would, is the plan of the base, right? So here goes the Stone Slammer on the bottom side where there's no air defense. Lava Hound cuts across here on this bottom down there. Another Lava Hound, which goes over there, which I probably could have dropped the Lava Hound here to tank a little bit more. And so I ended, ended up using my free spells down here to try to keep the momentum moving. And then the Queen, to the top side, is getting some real nice value. And this is where this Lone Wizard can help be clutch, right? This guy can help clean up so much of the base. That's why I recommend taking a Wizard or two. Um, but... This attack strategy is a lot stronger when you can plan it out. Like, obviously, in friendly challenges and obviously in war. In Legends League, I just feel like it would be it would be a lot harder because of those ring bases. And this attack strat is not meant. At least, I don't think so. When I did some testing on ring bases, it's really difficult. So, keep that in mind. It's more of an attack strat that requires planning um, and the right base to hit rather than hitting bases with tunnels in the core. Remember, it's not going to work on every single one here. So... I just had enough here to get it done, but this is really hopefully giving you a blueprint for this attack strategy and what you can do, different ways you can use it, and things like that. And we got one final replay here to show, and now it's time for you guys. Take your time. What is the plan on this one? Remember the objective, what you need is that, what, town hall. Yes, you need to get that town hall, and this was another one of the bases that hit fresh, right? First time. And so, where can I drop the Grand Warden? So he can be only targeted by one point defense. Get to the town hall. At least when I use the quad quake, I then have access to the town hall. Right? And so if you look, the town hall is here. Well, if I charge my way through here, okay, but that's single target. All right, so let me drop the grand one here, right? The grand one's going to do this, and then I can drop quad quake like this, charge my way through that. But then the eagle artillery is going to be standing, right? So... I'm going to do it where I'm going to drop the Grand Warden over here. So he's going to be responsible for taking this out. Okay. And then I'm going to charge my way like this and look at the Quad Quake. Right? So what's 10 spaces? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So if I drop Quad Quake here, one, it can damage all this high DPS, the high HP buildings of that. Or I would be not DPS, but high HP, I should say. And then I can take the Eagle down early. Right? So I can take an Eagle scatter or that's not a scatter this is a scatter eagle expo expo scatter expo whoa that's three expos right there yes the other expos on that side so that's one air expo for the lalo portion so i'm gonna drop the quad quake right here warden walk like this charge him right into this core here right so that's the plan so the grand warden oh actually a little bit further this way right so because then i'm like all right because i need this warden what's his objective over here is he to get these buildings and move this way? His objective is this air defense. Right? If this warden gets this air defense, then these healers are protected, and then I can charge my way in. That's his objective. So while he, while he's getting that air defense, I drop the Quad Quake, and then I'm going to drop a Yeti down here. Right? The Yeti can clear this building, and then he, the Yeti Mites can clear the Mortar. And then I drop a minion, like, okay, the minion can help clear this, but the Yeti goes over there, so no worries. So the minion is going to move over here. He's going to start to help take that down. So now that the Grand Warden is clearing this trash, he's setting the funnel over here. Yeti sets that funnel, and then I'm going to charge Ice Golem, King, Queen, everything right in once this air defense goes down. And then I realize, where's the best spot to drop the Royal Champion? Well, I feel like the Royal Champion coming over here, she can clear all of these key important defenses that would be a big problem for a Lalo. 
So she's going to come in over here. I'm going to lolo up and around because where's the sweepers? Well, sweepers going to go down. Both sweepers going to go down through that charge. So once his air defense is down, all right, time to start the uh, king, the ice golem, the yetis. There we go. We're going straight in. We're pushing everything right in the base. I dropped the one loon to test for seeking air mines. Here comes that royal champion. She's going to clear all those defenses on that top side. And then I'm charging my win. There's the rage spell. Moving in. I'm looking. Is the king locked out by the single target inferno? No, he's not. Drop that poison ready for that CC coming out. And then pop the ability to protect this charge right through all here. Because once the queen gets in, she can take that town hall down. Pop that raw champion ability. And then at this point, I pretty much waste my free spell here on this single target inferno. Um, I dropped it because I was a little late. I was trying to get things down. But look at this. This wizard can help clear all this really quickly. Now I lolo my way through here. The queen. Now, yes, everything died. But the queen can help clear and reach over the wall and grab that town hall. Very, very important. So I drop my haste, move the loons right through this top side here, and there's another freeze, but I missed the town hall. I That was definitely a very bad freeze spell right there. I drop another one, the final freeze. I pop that queen ability early to make sure that the queen ability can take the town hall before it, the town hall damages the loons as they approach. And then now it's a matter of these loons flying down and around. Queen continues down and clears all this value. Yes, this royal champion is still up, but technically you don't have to kill off the royal champion in the raid you just have to kill off all the buildings which includes includes her platform and then the dragon's gonna able to help go over and take her down so what are you guys' thoughts on this yeti lalo right here it's definitely super strong and it's obviously not going to work on every single base but it's an attack strategy that hopefully you guys did like and hopefully i brought you guys a lot of different attacks and ways you can take bases down and some of the bases are a little bit older than others. And so let me know your guys' thoughts on the Yeti Alalo right there. And I'll definitely be trying to do them in Legends. But I can just see a little problem because with those town halls that are centralized, which you can run into a lot of different issues. So it's more like you've got to uh, plan out the attacks rather than just being in Legends. But we'll see if it becomes a mainstream attack strategy. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this video here today of the yeti lalo and also check out the contest and playmakerswanted.com for jerseys if you guys want to purchase jerseys for your teams and use that discount code of carbon fin when you do purchase it and check out but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button subscribe down below for the daily content and hope you guys have a wonderful day carbon fin signing out peace